Yeah. Hi. Hello, everyone. Welcome to today's video. This is Shan Magaraj. Today's topic is program definition phase activities. So, however, we started discussing about standard of program management from PMI. If you look at the elements in the standard of program management, essentially, we discussed about introduction and then we discussed about program management performance domains. There are uh, five different performance domains we discussed in detail. Program strategy alignment, program benefits management, program stakeholder management, program governance and program life cycle management. You can refer my all my previous videos on this standard of program management. If you want to get more insight about all these domains. The final element in the standard of program management is the program activities. So that is what we are going to discuss today. In my previous video, we discussed about program activities, which is spreading across throughout the program life cycle, right? We also know that program activities are categorized based on the program phase, like program definition phase activities, program delivery phase activities, program closer phase activities. In today's video, we are going to discuss about program definition phase activities in specific. The program definition phase establishes and confirms the business case for the program and then develops the detailed plan for its delivery. Right, so you already know that you know we already discussed about different performance domains in program, and we already know that what are the activities or what are the major things happening in program definition, like building a business case or developing a program management plan. Right, when it comes to the activities that are getting performed in this particular definition phase, again we are dividing that definition phase activities into two parts. One is program formulation activities. The second one is program planning activities. Anything related to formulation of a program like business case, writing a charter, so all those activities are you know coming under formulation activity. Any activities which is coming under the program management planning, right, or program planning as such, it comes under program planning activities. Now let us try to understand what are the supporting program activities as part of program formulation activities at high level right what are the different activities involved in formulation right program change assessment program communications assessment program initial cost estimate program information management assessment program procurement assessment program quality assessment program resource requirements estimation program initial risk assessment, program schedule assessment, and program scope assessment. So if you look at it, most of the assessment and estimations, you know, all that, you know, uh, high level estimates, all those things are happening in the program formulation activities. I will try to put different videos to discuss each of these activities in my subsequent videos. Similarly, when it comes to program planning activities, there are a number of activities is getting performed. Let us understand at high level, what are those? Program change management planning, program communication management planning, program cost estimation, program financial framework establishment, program financial management planning, program information management planning, program procurement management planning, program quality management planning, program resource management planning, program risk management planning, program schedule management planning, program scope management planning. So in formulation, we all talked about assessment and initial estimation. In the planning, we are talking about more, you know, in terms of planning as well as, you know, framework establishment and kind of final estimation and completing the planning activities. So I'll put an, another detailed video on all the activities or all the sub activities 
you know in much more details in all those these activities we will discuss in subsequent videos right with that we have come to the conclusion of today's video hope you got a high level idea on what are the activities that are getting executed as part of program definition phase activities we also discussed about two parts of it those are program formulation activities the second one is program planning activities in these two parts as well we discussed about what are the different supporting program activities are being executed or performed right so we'll be discussing all those activities in detail in my subsequent videos hope you like this video take care bye bye